Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am in the mood to do another little abstract floral page. Um, this time I'm just going to do the one page so that it's not a two hour video. <laughs> um, it took me a little over an hour to do this and so I had to speed it up to get it down to the 15 minutes. And I did change the angle of the camera since I am a lefty. I realize y'all probably couldn't see all my brush strokes and I'm not sure if that's something people needed to see um, how I do things I know I like to see you know when they press on it how they're able to make leaves and flowers um, so I'm not doing anything real special I think I'm just going to do leaves on this one um, I decided just to do some lines again of course, you can do squares, you can block them out, circles, squares, triangles, make your background however you like it. Um, I like color, <laughs> so I knew the background was going to be important on this piece or page because there wasn't going to be a whole lot of embellishment on it. Like, um, if I was going to do a floral bouquet, I want the eye to focus on all the flowers and the colors of the flowers. So you, I would have like a more dull one color background. But on these kind of little doodles, um, the background also really helps add to it with all the pretty colors. I went ahead and um, I usually have to do two colors, I mean two layers on these just to get the background um, hidden, the white covered up. I don't know if it's the paint, I don't know if it's because I don't put a layer of gesso on first. I was doing that at the beginning and then I wondered whether or not I could just get away with not having to gesso it first because I was too impatient. To have to dry it. Um, so either way it works. Um, I figure this helps. My hand is shaky for some reason, especially when I'm trying to do straight lines. <laughs> so I figure, well, this will help, you know, because I don't have anything to rest my hand on. So I'm really trying to work on getting some straight lines, but you can see it's not going well. <laughs> And that's the thing that I love about your art journal. It's yours. There's no such thing as perfection. You know, it's just having fun and playing with the paints and seeing what comes, you know, what happens. And you can see that I've already got that other page. That was just scraped off from a palette and eventually it'll get added to and do something with it and it probably won't even match the page on the left I'm not really into that mat having to match you know to me I just see one page separate unless it is a big spread whoopsie there I go again I cannot hold on to a brush for the life of me <laughs> yesterday when I was doing the video I dropped it on my leg this time it just landed well, it hit the, <laughs> the journal first. I just laugh and clean up the mess. So I'm just adding some random shapes. You know, the idea is to fill up the background. You know, fill up the page with images. It could be squares. You could do triangles. You could do small objects. You can sketch it out beforehand on a, you know, scratch pad, you know, paper. Um, the majority of times I will be looking at a reference picture because I've liked what they did. And I'll kind of copy most of it, you know, because it's never going to be the same. I can't, I'm not that good <laughs> of a copier. <laughs> but it's got like the same elements, so it helps me to, to figure out what I can put in there and if you want to copy any of these pages um, or any of the images I post on Facebook you are more than welcome to I do not mind that is what I 
why I post them, you know, to inspire others, you know, to, to show that if I can do it, and I feel I have no talent, <laughs> I'm just playing with a brush and some paint, that um, anybody can do it. And you can see I can't even hold on to the brush, I can't draw a straight line, I can't even draw a good squiggly line. But in the end, you know, it looks pretty because you just have all these pretty colors and elements on it. And, you know, all the color makes me happy. And the fact that I finished the page, instead of sitting around being bored, nothing to do, right? <laughs> so, I wanted to also show, you know, my layout. Um, I've got different bottles of brushes, and I've always tried to find which one will work best. Different sizes for... Um, page that I'm working on or the size of the leaf that I was trying to do that's why I went to this smaller brush um, I don't have any expensive brushes I don't do that well I'm lying I did go to Hobby Lobby and I bought some Princeton velvet brushes for when I start working on watercolor again I was just there it was an impulse buy and I'm not going to look at the bank account <laughs> after I bought those. Yeah, I only bought like four or five. And I'm going to label them watercolor only, you know. <laughs> These other ones can be watercolor or acrylic, depending <laughs> on what I need. Yeah, these paints that I'm using, um, they're from Hobby Lobby, I believe. Uh, they're not thick bodied I know the blue one was and the white one was so you can see a lot of the background through it and my goal is not to hide you know the background you know you're layering and sometimes you'll see the bottom coming through but that just kind of adds to the whole feel of you know like mixed media you know you, you see all the, the beautiful layers that you went through to get to you know the final picture but I do want to darken them up because it was just a really thin layer of paint and two thin layers of acrylic paint is a lot better than one big chunky layer where you can't work on top of it so ah, there I'm scraping the excess back into the tubes I know I said I don't waste it <laughs> And I always squeeze out too much. It's like squeezing and squeezing and nothing comes out. And then, boom, you got this humongous blob. So I always scrape it back in. Unless it's a mixture like that orange. I had to mix it with the white for that left color. The orange is going to be just too dark. So I'm kind of thinking of what I want to do. And trying to find the right colors. And, of course, right brushes. And there I had that leftover paint. And so I thought, let's do some dots. But they're kind of small, and so I go over them later on. And here I decide to add some more leaves. And this time pink instead of the magenta. Um, just to add, to brighten it up, I guess. Um... Brighten things up, add more interest to the page, and yeah, fill in the spots. I just had a brain fart. I just went blank. It's like, well, why did I do that? Was there a reason? <laughs> I kind of was attempting to have them halfway behind the, the magenta leaf, but that's kind of hard to do, just a half a leaf for me, so... I didn't worry about it too much. So I'm just going over it with the second layer. You'll see in any video that I do, um, I always try to stress, don't worry. Don't worry about mistakes. Uh, if you don't like it, you can always paint over it. Um, so this is supposed to be a nice, freeing, stress-releasing hobby uh, or whatever you want to call it a little me time so 
what I don't stress at all. There I'm using the yellow paint, but it's not showing out really well, so I'll go back with a Posca pen. Um, there's not a whole lot of room left on this page, so there's very limited what else I can do, and that's fine. I wanted just that one big, you know, leaf. What do you call that? Stem? Branch? Yeah, branch, I guess. So now it's time to break out the acrylic pens and have some fun decorating. These acrylic pens I got off of Amazon. I'll have to look up the name of it again. It was in my last video. Um, they have three... Um, what do you call it? You got the chisel, you got the bullet, and you got the fine point there. So I love that you don't have to buy three different pen sets like you would with the Posca. And it was like way cheaper. It was under $20, you know, for this whole set. I think it was like 10 to 12 um, pens in it. And I have been enjoying them. It's the same performance um, as a Posca, just way cheaper. So I'm just outlining, um, thinking of things I can do, came out with the polka dots, and what's crazy is this is the other end of that same purple pen, and the purple dots are way darker than the outline of the leaves, which I don't get because it's the same ink in it, right? <laughs> you know, so I don't understand how that happened. I liked the darker ink but I don't know how to get it over to the thin side I don't know I maybe I crack one of these pens open and see if there's like two little vials full of ink in there or something that was just weird so I decided to go ahead and do a little it looks like a little stitch instead of a full outline I thought it was kind of cute just something different. I do think I think at the end that I put way too many polka dots, but we'll see. When I was just watching this, it's like, oh my god, I put polka dots everywhere, but maybe that's okay. Like I said, I have a hard time not covering up spaces. <laughs> so. These are fun. I was going to do a flower bouquet and film that because I know somebody was asking how I do my flowers. But I've been kind of under the weather the last week or so, just really fatigued. And I was just like, oh, I don't want to take on that big adventure, you know, because it's going to be like a two hour because there's just so much paint and so many different things that are added to those kind of paintings. But I will do it once I start feeling better. And those are just so much fun. And it's just, again, just about layering and having fun with the paint and colors and experimenting. And I'm always surprised, you know, at the end result that, wow, did I do that? You know? Um, and it's just fascinating seeing it all come together. I'm just adding some more details here. Um... Yeah, a lot of polka dots. <laughs> well, like I said, it was it was empty, you know. I think some more dots are coming. Oh no, here's I'm drawing a little wonky stem with leaves. I broke out a Posca pen. <laughs> And I'm making the leaves, you know, different um, so that they come out different. Not perfect. None of them is the same size, same angles. We don't want that. We want fun and whimsical. So there was no stress. Let's, let's start from the top and go around. Or let's start from the bottom and go up and down. So, oh, let's add some more. <laughs> I found something naked. <laughs> 
Uh, so if there's any takeaway from this, is to just have fun. Don't be scared of that white page. Slap some paint on it. Let your imagination go crazy. Follow some videos. Look for images on Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube. Everybody's posting these and everybody's having fun and I want you to join in and have some fun too and and never say that I can't do it because um, I never thought I could and I just started so <laughs> look at all the fun that I'm having you know and I want you to have that fun too so we're coming up to the end of it so I will say bye bye for now and I look forward to seeing you again happy painting bye y'all